Simon was in the reptile house at the zoo. He was fascinated by the chameleon, which could change colour to match its background. He thought about it all the way home. When he got home, he drew a chameleon on his blackboard. Next day, he met Henry from the land of chalk drawings. Simon, you must come. Something odd is happening. So Simon went with Henry to the land of chalk drawings. It looked peaceful enough, but then Simon saw something peculiar. The elephant picked a bunch of bananas, and a banana came to life. It flicked out a long tongue and frightened the elephant so much that he knocked over a tree. It was, of course, the chameleon, disguising himself as a banana. He ran off, chuckling. The cat was asleep in a tree. He was woken up by a flicking tongue. He was so surprised that he fell off the branch. The chameleon again. He was having fun. And a bird who sat down to rest had to perch elsewhere. And so did another one. Off ran the chameleon. The teacher, talking to a pupil, got a shock. The chalk drawing people complained to Simon. No one can catch the chameleon because he disguises himself so cleverly, grumbled Henry. Well, Simon knew he had to do something. So he went home, and he thought, and he thought. And suddenly, he had an idea. He drew on his blackboard, and then hurried back to the land of chalk drawings. There was his new drawing. A Scotsman in full Highland dress, tartan from head to kilt. Hutzman, I'm Hamish MacHamish, you ken. Hamish went to the wood where they thought the chameleon was and spread out his tartan blanket. Then he lay down and went to sleep. Well, sure enough, the chameleon couldn't resist trying to surprise Hamish, so he crept onto the blanket. The tartan blanket had so many colours, the chameleon found it difficult to change colour to match it. He puffed and he panted, and finally managed to turn tartan. Now he was disguised. Hamish woke up. The tartan chameleon flicked out his tongue to surprise him, but Hamish only laughed. <laughs> the chameleon walked away, disappointed. Then, when he tried to change himself back to normal, he found he couldn't. It was too difficult. The chameleon looked so sad that Simon and Hamish felt sorry for him. As the chameleon now had the McHamish tartan, Hamish McHamish decided to make him an honorary member of the clan. Simon was glad to go home, leaving everyone happy. When Simon visited the zoo again, he saw the real chameleon. Simon spoke to the keeper. Is there such a thing as a tartan chameleon? The keeper laughed. The impossible no chameleon could change into so many colours. <laughs> Simon smiled to himself. He knew differently, didn't he? <laughs>